Hey, how are you doing? Bob Folks here for the Gilly Galoo. Lots of things on the go. It's getting kind of sneaking up on spring here a little bit. Uh, a lot of people in looking at our tent, uh, tents and stuff that we carry. We carry a two, three, and four man tent now. Of course, we've been showing you all of the other kind of things, but I really haven't really sort of really addressed uh, our new line of council tool axes that we're carrying. Um, premium uh, product from manufacturing to uh, finishing. It's, it's uh, an excellent, excellent product and we're thrilled to have them in the store here. Um, a little bit of history, obviously uh, John Pickett Council uh, started the, the tool manufacturing company in 1886 and it's still a family run business in, uh, in North Carolina. They uh, still manufacture uh, axes and uh, they manufacture things for fire departments and military use and what have you and their main feature is uh, manufacturing of these axes. Um, several different, uh, they have some different lines that we kind of wanted to talk about just to kind of show you. I hope this here, um, so we have the, a sport utility line, they have a premium velvet cut line and they have a wood pack and camp carver axe line. Uh, the two that we're gonna talk about today, uh, I'm just gonna show you here is the, in the uh, velvet cut premium axes, um, it's 5160 uh, al uh, alloy steel, grade alloy steel. Um, the, the measurement or the unit of, uh, of, of edge or hardness is uh, Rothwell, they call it, and this is uh, in the mid to high uh, 80, 50s, mid to high 50s, I should say, excuse me, uh, in terms of the correct hardness, but also to hold an edge. So this will hold an edge a long time, but also soft enough that it's not brittle. But look at that, isn't that a beautiful piece? And one of the things I wanted to draw your attention to uh, is with the, all of these, so these are all hickory handles, but you'll notice the grain in that handle runs linear. It doesn't run across, it runs linear. But more importantly, take a look at, the, uh, at that line across there. Can you see the literal, I'm hoping you can see the, the, the grain of the line running, the, adds a huge amount of uh, strength, huge amount of strength in this uh, axe. That's a 28 inch handle on this, it's a beautiful, Beautiful uh, Hudson Bay um, camp axe, bad boy axe, they call this. So for limbing or felling or any of that kind of stuff, it's beautiful to have in your in your kit for camping, uh, in your canoe, uh, if you're backpacking or, or anything like that. It's a beautiful, beautiful product. Notice that it also has a softwood wedge in the top with a steel eye, uh, making it very, very durable to there and shaped shoulders on here so that it gives you the opportunity to grab a hold in a specific way as well. Beautiful, beautiful box. But my absolute favorite, and I just have to show kind of the whole thing here, and then knock things over. 28 inch handle, 24 inch handle, excuse me, it's a two pound, uh, axe head with a 24 inch handle, all, again all hickory, 5160 steel, forward, hardened at both ends. So this end at the pole end, this is hardened as well so that you can use it for pounding in stakes, uh, whatever, so it's hardened at this end, hardened at this end. Some other features, so we have the full mask uh, that goes with it. Some other features is that sharpened right out, look at this edge on that, sharpened completely right from the factory. Uh, no burrs or anything on that, and again, a very hard steel. Um, it has a nice little feature here where it, you can see that there's little indentations on the side of the blade. So you can see that there, there, see that there? So that's designed so that when you snap that into a tree or into a limb, or if you're splitting wood or what have you, it's leaving some space there so that it doesn't bind and get into the into the thing again. And again, all linear grain hickory handles, 
full uh, softwood wedge secured with an eye. Uh, the toe and the heel of the axe, you can see is it's rounded there. Beautiful shoulders on it here so that again you can kind of get that so it's designed for full yurt. So if you were uh, in construction or carpentry or timber framing or any of that kind of stuff, you have that. This style of head is reminiscent of the Hudson Bay head that's called. So back in the day with the trappers, they could get their hand on that and use it to skin uh, their, their trade, that they the uh, animals that they've trapped. Beautiful, beautiful wood council uh, premium pack axe and the velvet cut premium axe. We have a full line of all of them here. Uh, we have full sharpening systems uh, to go with it. The other really unique piece with this is it comes uh, with an available sling and, and sheath. So there's the sheath for it. I'll just show you here. Very, very high grade leather. A little stiff. But, so this would go in here, like so. So put that down in your sheath. Down in here. It has belt loops on the back so that you could fasten it to your belt or lash it to your can uh, to your uh, your pack. Push that down, it snaps down there. So here we go, full sheath. And then the neat part is this beautiful sheath that come or uh, sling this designed to work with it. So they have nice big heavy clips here fasten one to the bottom fasten the other to the back side Oops. there we go we have a full shoulders there you go you got your pack on you got your is it can be adjusted so you can shorten it up and then you you got a full sling, your hands free uh, to, to carry your pack or do whatever, paddle your canoe, do whatever, all, all the other kinds of things. These are also available to work with it. Lovely, lovely uh, pieces of equipment. The pack axe too, I really, uh, they've, they've uh, they, the Woodcraft pack axe that I'm just showing you here, they also call it the companion axe. Because of its durability and, and and craftsmanship um, it's it's your companion for life and you can uh, definitely be generational with this particular piece because it's going to uh, last a lifetime and maybe more hey anyway, thanks for stopping by today I really appreciate you we're, we're gaining momentum with these and with our full tent lines and stuff now that we have we I'll just swing this baby around here let's have a look There's the Oregon two-man tent right here in the shop. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a nice day. Talk to you soon.